M0FXB, welcome to my channel and the videos about the Retivis RT72 Pofung 702 DMR UHF VHF and analog radio. Please enjoy the content. 73. The Bofung 1702 DMR and analog VHF UHF radio. So we're looking at the scanning abilities of this radio, whether we're scanning in DMR mode or VFO or um, analog mode. So let's have a look. So the first thing you want to do is to get it into VFO mode. So if we look at the top, the A band here, we'll call it, it says D and that stands for actually for digital. So the top is by default in digital mode. If we hold down the red button, the back button, we're back into memory mode. This is a memory channel. We can go through our memories up and down with these arrows. So if you want to get it into VFO mode, hold down the back button. It says V here now. We're now in VFO mode. Let's go to the B section by pushing the button under the PTT. Okay, now we're going to hold down the back button again. Okay, we're in VFO mode. So by default, if we use this button again, A, B. A is in digital mode and B is in analog mode. So we're going to use this for scanning. So if we want to scan, just go, we'll do it in digital first. We'll go menu. Then we'll go down one to scan, hit menu and then we'll click OK and we can turn the, that button on. I'm sure you could probably add a shortcut, but this is how we're doing it for now. So right now we're scanning up or down. You change direction by pushing this button. Okay, now if we hold down the button under the PTT, a little speaker symbol appears here. And what that's good for is if we hit our, no, any DMR uh, hotspot or repeater and it transmits, it will come through and you'll have all the information. So if you look here, the two arrows means scan, high power, but the speaker is, it almost means like monitor mode, but it gives information. The circle in the middle is just, a, it's trying to get a GPS lock. Let's go up and down. Okay. Let's stop the scan for now. Okay. And then we go to the B section. And it's exactly the same. You go into the menu and you change the settings, but you'll be listening to analog. You can mute one half. So if we're... We're, we've got the control on the bottom half because when you move this up and down it's to do with controlling the, the keypad so the control is on the bottom half and receiving the bottom half we can mute the top half just by briefly pressing the back so that's muted or we could move it up one and we could push the red again and we've muted that half so effectively we've got a digital and analog scanner in this radio if you want to just enter a frequency, just use the keypad 431555, uh, five, and I think it's three zeros. You can talk to our ham radio buddies around the world. You yeah. take it easy and be safe. Look forward to the next one. God willing, we won't allow so much distance. We can move away from that frequency. So that station is effectively a, a DMR station and now we could be scanning around looking for other frequencies. So remember if we hold down the again this button under the PTT and the speaker lights up then we move the frequency back down to oh it looks like we have to re so we'll go like this put it on the frequency of the hotspot sorry about that and then hold down the underneath the PTT. When that person station speaks again, you'll get their information come through. See, it comes through in white. So what's happening now is that the B band is receiving my analog hotspot. Well, really, as far as I can see, it would only receive one at a time. 
they all be but it's still very good for a budget radio so we just need someone to talk on the DMR side and that will come through and just to remind you how do we know it's in DMR or digital because it's a D we move it to B A for analog So there you go, there's the information that comes through when you've got the little speaker on. That, that, this isn't a pre-programmed... Good morning. Hey, it... here's Carlos. Uh, pleasure to uh, make an acquaintance with you there. Let's move away for now. Now that wasn't a pre-programmed channel. That is just a, a VFO frequency and it's picked up the DMR signal and it's told us what talk group it's on, it's on, what DMR number is in use, and what color code's in use. So we could now, if we wanted to, program that into our radio. Now, I haven't tried just replying, uh, so that would be the interesting one. If I could reply, and they can hear me without even... Um, Fantastic there, uh, Carl, yes. Uh... Without even having to program it in the radio. So basically, if I can just key the mic and reply to them, that will be interesting. I don't think I can. i got a feeling that it just takes me to a memory channel, but we'll try it in between yeah, the gaps. Yeah, we're just... Uh... Boat Frames, delivering Australia Post. Uh, back to you. 